Today and tomorrow, so they're back to back at least and probably not going to be all day affairs. So that's the good thing. And also, I guess the good thing here is, Matt, as you're looking at First Alert Live Radar, we told you this on our newscast and Pete was talking about it at noon that we could see a stray shower or thunderstorm move through during the early evening hours. Not severe, but I'm sure a lot of folks who are outside saw a sprinkle or a light shower move through, say between 7 and the present time. Now that's moving its way farther to the east. Some heavier downpours that between Chillicothe and going down toward Marshall. Otherwise, as you look over the Kansas side, we're starting to see a little bit of a break for the time being before it picks up once again. We do have severe thunderstorm watch boxes that are out to the west. One specifically is out from Nebraska. Here's Kansas City. There's one that also includes, say, Atchison County on the Kansas side, as well as Jefferson County and points to the west of that. And that one stays in effect until 11 o'clock. But if you look very carefully, there are a few severe thunderstorm warnings. Those are the yellow boxes that you see here. Very few of them. That's good news, but still thinking the number one thing we have to worry about will be gusty winds up to 60 or 70 miles per hour, which some of the cells, if they get that strong, otherwise it's going to be torrential rainfall. So flooding could be an issue ponding on the roads after midnight or so. So between now and about two or three in the morning, we're going to continue to watch and monitor these as they move closer to Kansas City. Another check of the radar and also first look future scan, Matt, so you can see when those thunderstorms finally leave the area coming up in a few minutes.